Hello everyone, today we have this nice beautiful wooden box as a blank canvas. Let's see what I can come up with. Before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. I began by painting the top of the box this solid kind of orangey pink salmon almost type of color and then I also painted the little bottom part of the top lid of this orangey red color and I got started on the bottom of the box. For the bottom sides of the box, I did a little bit of this swirly type of pattern in a variety of colors, so I start off with orange. And if you just saw there, I left me rotating it because I painted a section and then I immediately flipped it onto the section I just painted, so oops. But anyway, then I went in with my trusty I was gonna make a word that rhymes with trusty, but I can't think of a phrase right now. But I went in with my loved Posca pens and started by drawing some flowers and different shapes on top of the box and then added some more decorations from there. According to Walmart, which is where I purchased this box, this is a cigar box. Now, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I know why it's called that, but I'm not using it for that. So for our purposes, it's just a wooden box that I'm going to use for anything. I, at first, was going to make it an art spe specific box, if that makes sense, like a box specifically for my art. However, I decided that if one day I want to change what's inside of it, then I shouldn't put a label on it because then it won't be able to be used for anything else. So instead I went with a certain vibe being inspired by a certain theme which is inspired by a certain decade. Comment down below what decade you think this box was inspired by. After I added in all of the red flowers, I decided that I needed to add a little more color to make this a little more artsy and fun, so I decided to go in with some pink, and I liked how that turned out, but I felt like it kind of unbalanced the colors a little bit. So after I put in the pink, I tried to put in some yellow, but this yellow is like highlighter yellow. So the box turned out a little bit less than what I expected. It turned out like this and one you can barely even see the yellow but when you can it's like a slap in the face and <laughs> I was gonna say not in a good way but I don't think a slap in the face is ever good but I decided to add some white as well so that there was more of a pop of color and then I decided to go over all of the yellow dots that I had made because I did not like the yellow, so that's how it looks with the white, and I like that way better. I wanted the box to be kind of full and a little more chaotic maybe, so I added some more white with like little sparkles, and I thought that looked good and filled some more of the space, and I didn't mean for this to happen, but I also really liked the streaks that were left from my original base coat. That happened because I had to blend a color multiple times, and I'm not the best at color matching apparently so that's what happened but I actually think it worked out really well for the back of this and added some more to it as well. After I was done with the top of the box I went back to work on the sides where I was doing these kind of swirly patterns. I really was hoping they didn't turn out looking like bacon and I'm glad to report that they did not. At least I don't think they do and maybe I shouldn't have said that because now maybe you think they look like bacon. but. Either way, I added some red little swirly pattern to the side of the box right next to the orange and then I added after this a couple of pink ones and white ones as well. I was definitely feeling inspired by a specific decade. If you haven't commented already what you think it is, do that because I'm about to reveal what that decade is. It's the 70s. And, you know, I wasn't alive in the 70s, so is this accurate? I don't know, but that's what it was inspired by, just kind of a fun, kind of groovy 
pattern design. Ugh, that was weird that I said that. I hope that word doesn't come back. If you say that, nothing against you. Just, it's not my vibe, man. So, I added some white in there as well. And I was actually really impressed with the white Posca pen's abilities. This is like my first time ever using the Posca pen this one specifically, the white one, to make designs and stuff. So I was like, wow, pretty impressed with its ability to cover a surface. At this point, I was pretty happy with how it was looking and I felt like it was pretty unified, but I wanted to unify the box with the top just a little bit more. So I went in and added some type of swirly designs on the top to match the swirly designs that were on the side of the box. Again, my goal was to make it look like there was not bacon just sitting on top of the box. That is definitely not the look I'm going for. I just want it to match the swirls on the bottom. I like bacon as much as the next person, just not on top of my art that I just spent hours making. It's always so stressful when you try and do a design like this, like a design change like last minute, because you have to go over things that you've already done. So if you hate what you add, then you've already ruined what's underneath and you have to try and go from there. And then usually at that point, it gets a lot messier. I still wasn't feeling like the box was cluttered enough, so I decided to add some more red flowers with the red Posca pen, and that helped a little bit, and I was really happy with how it looked now. I just wanted to make sure that the top of the box was full of the design and didn't leave a lot of empty space. I added some white details to the top of the box, and then, for real this time, the top of the box was done. So then I went on to the inside of the box, and I debated whether or not I should design the whole thing, but I settled on doing the rim of the inside of the box a red color just for fun, and then I wrote something on the inside top lid of the box as well. And I was trying to think of words to write. I just wanted it to be one word, something simple, something cute, nothing too deep or meaningful or anything. So I just wrote the word smile. So I did that and then I thickened that letter up so it was nice and juicy. And I didn't really remember the 70s thing for this now that I'm thinking about it. Like I could have done some 70s type of font, whatever that means, but I didn't. I just kept it pretty simple and did the word smile and then I added a little smiley face and did some decorations. And then after that, that was it. I was done with the box and I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I really didn't go into it with any sort of planning in terms of designs in my head. I knew I wanted to do a 70s inspired and like these warm colors, but other than that, I didn't have anything planned out. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think this smile part, I might have done a little differently, but I still think it's a cute touch and thankfully, you can't see it from the outside anyway. So if you don't want to see it, you don't have to. You just close the box and pretend it doesn't exist. But anyway, I still really like it. I still really enjoy this. I still have no idea what I'm even going to use the box for. But hey, now I have options and I have this adorable box to use for whatever I choose. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And I'm so excited to share my art with you guys. So thank you for making that happen. Thank you for watching and here are the final results.